Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj and today I'm going to talk about temporary tables. So let's go ahead with temporary tables. So the syntax to create temporary table is very similar to the normal tables. That is create table, the temporary table name prefixed with a hash and the column list. Everything is same and I'll show you in the demo how to create this table. The second point says that a temporary table or temp table is created on disk in the tempdb database. So in SQL Server there is a tempdb system database where these temp tables are created and stored their whole life. And while you create a temp table it is suffixed with a session specific ID to differentiate between the other named uh, tables created by other sessions. Uh, so if two people have logged into a database system in the same database they can create a temp table with a similar name. So how to differentiate between these two, the SQL Server database engine internally suffixes some IDs to these temp tables and the name of the temp table is limited to 116 characters. Okay, So let's see how these temp tables are created. Okay, So I'm just going to create a simple, a simple temp table. Okay, so I'll just create with two columns and execute it. Okay, so as you can see here, the temp table is created. And if we uh, try to do a select star from hash temp tab, okay, so you can see these two columns. And let's see how this temp table is stored internally. So I'll go and query the system catalog uh, view that is. Uh, dot information schema dot tables okay so here as you can see the temp table is created with this particular name right so this is the name that we gave okay and rest of the name SQL server has suffixed here so this is because if let's say I go ahead and create a similar temp table in a different session Okay, so let's see what is the name SQL Server has provided here. So this actually got created, right? So let's see. So SQL Server has created now these temp tables with these two names. So as you can see, the temporary table with suffix with A6 belongs to this session, and temporary table suffixed with A7 belongs to this session. Now, while querying both of these tables, how can you make sure that you which session table you are querying so let's try to insert a record into this temp table okay one comma one right and i'll insert some different values here two comma two okay so this session of the same name of temporary table will show me 2 comma 2 on both of these columns and this will show me 1 comma 1. So externally if you see so we are just interacting with a temp table in different different sessions but internally SQL Server is taking this name and giving you results from the session specific temp table. So here this particular temp table and and here this particular temp table a7 okay so let's go back to the slide and the third point says that the scope of this temp table is limited to its session like a stored procedure or a set of nested procedures so let's check again this thing let's uh, okay what I'll do is I'll close this session okay so in this session the temp table is still there and if I try to query the information schema so the sec so the other temp table with a7 has vanished it is dropped because that belongs to that particular session. So the scope of that temp table belongs to a particular session. So here this table is still active because the session is live. I have not closed this session. Okay. So let's try to query this table from different session. So what I'll get is invalid object name hash temp tab because this table does not belong to this session, but this table belongs to this particular session. Okay. Let's go back to the slide and move to the fourth point. The temp table gets dropped automatically when the session ends or the stored proc execution end or goes out of scope. Okay, so this is the pretty much thing that we saw here. 
so to see that again what I'll do is I'll create a temp tab 2 and let's query it from here right so you will see a temp tab 2 table created over here temp tab 2 right and if I go ahead and close this session right so this table temp tab 2 gets automatically dropped so you can see here there is only one table that is that is already created here temp tab 2 is nowhere here right so fifth point says that one of the main benefit of using a hash table as opposed to a permanent table is the reduction of amount of locking required since the current user is the only user access in the table and also there is much less logging involved so as you can see here the temp the scope of this temp table is limited to this session only and no other session as we saw here no other session can use these temp tables right i'll again show you so this shows you invalid temp table so if any other session cannot query this temp table so the locking mechanism is very reduced and the concurrency is also reduced a lot okay so the six point talks about the global temporary tables uh, they are very much like temporary tables they are also created in tempdb and cause less locking and logging than permanent tables but they are visible to other sessions also you can create global temp tables by providing a double hash okay so let's create a global temp table here right and let's see the existence of this temp table here right so this global temp table is created like this so it sql server does not create a similar name like this because it can be accessed by the other session so this name should be unique across other sessions also so unlike here i cannot query this temp table that belong to other session but i can query the global temp table that belong to other session okay so if i insert some records over here in the the global temp table right let's say three three i can query these from here also i can query from here also plus i can query these from here also so the scope of the global temp tables is across the sessions so if i want people not to use this global temp table because right now it's a global so other sessions will also be able to use it so if i want other people not to use it or the other sessions not to use it i have to close this session then only this session will be automatically this global temp table will all will be automatically dropped here then nobody could use it here right let's go back so the seven point says that one can create a desired indexes on temporary tables and these makes use of statistics thus resulting in better quality plan compared to table variables so i can create indexes on these temp tables let's create one index So with these temp tables, you can create indexes on top of these, just like normal tables. And the temp tables can make use of statistics and can make use of the, all the indexes that are available in SQL Server. And uh, thank you for watching this video. And please let me know your comments. Thanks.